So did you escape out here for a cigarette or to get away from the crowd? <laughs> Same here. I get claustrophobic in spaces like that. Just too many people crammed in a club together. Don't get me wrong, I love the music and seeing everyone dressed up for Halloween, but their energy is so overwhelming. And don't get me started on the smell. Yes, I'm here with a friend. She seems to have found herself a sexy minion for the evening. Lucky girl. They are currently smushing faces in the dark corner of the club. You should be able to spot her easily. She's the zombie cheerleader with the yellow paint smudged across her face. <laughs> I know, how dare he mark her like that. I just hope he's a respectful minion. Doesn't show off his banana without consent first. <laughs> no, no date for me. This is a common theme that I'm much accustomed to. Take no pity on me. How about you? Where's your date? Hmm, I see. Looks like we're both members of the Third Wheel Club tonight. Ugh, are you kidding me? Apparently my friend got a ride back to that Minion's Lair, so I'm officially flying solo tonight. Don't take pity on me. We at least have some decent weather, so I don't mind walking home. Oh no, it's quite alright. I actually just live up in the hill, and I can walk myself home. <laughs> yeah, that is my house. I guess you could call it a mansion. It technically is, but that's neither here nor there. Um, sure, you may join me. I'm letting my friend know you're escorting me, though, just in case. You are a stranger, after all. You seem nice enough, though. You have to promise to keep me safe if we run into any unsavory characters. Think you could handle that? Okay, I'll take your word for it then. Thanks again for walking me home. What's your name? It's very nice to meet you. My name is Avella. I usually go by Eve. It's an old name, for sure. I don't think I know of any other Vellas anymore. Oh, it's just an old family name, I suppose. My mother had to be unique. Not so fun, though, when the kids in school chant, Evil Avella, when you walk down the corridors. <sighs> yeah, it was an all-girls boarding school. Those girls were next-level bullies. They'd make a grown man cry with their taunts. Thankfully, I don't have to worry about them anymore. Oh, I thank you. This is a vintage dress I've had for many years. <sighs> yeah, I am usually a sexy vampire for Halloween every year. It's a pretty fuss-free costume. Popping the fake fangs and red contacts and out the door I go. And what's this costume you're wearing? Hmm, something last minute so you could get to the party in time? <laughs> I don't know what it is about costume parties in Halloween. It's quite exciting to wear a mask and pretend to be someone else for the night. I think it adds to the overall sexy anticipation of potentially meeting a stranger. Maybe sharing a kiss with them? Oh yes, I've had a few of my own Halloween flings like that, although... Nothing seems to last. Certainly always a fun memory to make. I love seeing that full moon high in the night sky. Lights up everything so perfectly. It truly is a perfect Halloween night. I think the only thing we're missing is a black cat perched upon a fence, casting a silhouette against the full moon. <laughs> and it's an ideal night for a vampire such as myself. Easily spot her next victim. Look out, it could be you. <laughs> oh, you kind of flinched there. I didn't realize I made such a believable vampire. 
I've always been fascinated by vampires and their lore. They are an exquisite blend of fear and seduction, so effortlessly alluring. They entice you with their beauty and charm until you are putty in their hands, and then they strike. <laughs> yeah, I feel like it's definitely a fitting look for me. No, this isn't a wig. It's my real hair. Thank you. It's very kind of you to say. Oh, yeah. I, I use a lot of pale makeup for my skin as well. Um, I just use the makeup on my face and hands and neckline. The rest of me has a healthy glow. Yeah. Um, you must live close by. Oh, you did? You mean you just left your car at the club to walk me home? <laughs> you didn't have to do that. That's so inconvenient for you, but very sweet and considerate at the same time. A true gentleman. Mm, it's not too cold out either, is it? I love fall. The air smells divine, crisp, slight chill and full of excitement. So what do you have planned for the rest of the evening after we depart? Do you have to be into work tomorrow morning? Oh, that's good that you have the day off. Don't look back, but there are three men following behind us. I said not to look. I saw them at the club. They were acting strangely. They were in these, like, creepy plague masks. When I came out of the bathroom, all three of them blocked my way, trying to intimidate me or something. The bouncer at the club noticed, and they moved out of my way. Yeah, it's definitely the same guy. I hold your arm? No, don't try to start anything with them. Maybe they're just trying to intimidate us. If you're trying to be dicks and scare us, it's not funny. Why don't you crawl back to your stupid frat house and leave us alone? They're just trying to get off on scaring us. They're just a bunch of losers with nothing better to do. Closer. What do you want to do? Look out! Hey, leave him alone. I said leave him alone. You're going to regret ever messing with me and my friend. You chose the wrong girl. There you are. I was so worried. You were knocked unconscious. I'm so glad you're okay. Yes, I did. I called the police, but they took off before they could find them. <laughs> no, I'm alright. <sighs> Calm down. They didn't hurt me at all. Oh, God. You have quite the lump on your head. <laughs> How are you feeling? Does it hurt? <sighs> There's no reason to be upset. There's nothing you could have done. The guy with the bat moved so quickly, you didn't have any time to think. I'm not sure what you mean. What did you hear? <laughs> that must have been a really big blow to your head because there's no way I could have ever done any of that. I'm just a small woman. How could I have taken on three big men all on my own? That's impossible. Shh. You need to relax. No, you can't go try to find those guys right now. They're long gone. And what are you going to do? Get another bump on your head? You need to rest here at my place. It's dangerous to try to retaliate. You know that. Here, I made you some tea. 
Have a sip and calm your nerves. You can stay in recovery here until you feel ready to leave. You know, I have something to admit. The first time I saw you, there was something that drew me right to you. I think it was your eyes. I know this sounds absolutely absurd, but you look like someone I used to know. A former lover of mine. He and I had quite the history. Unfortunately, he passed away a long time ago. No, please don't be sorry. That was ages ago, and I've already grieved his death. But seeing your eyes truly brought back those old feelings that were dormant for so long. I'm sorry this is a lot for you. You're trying to calm down, and I can tell this is upsetting to you. Your lip. I didn't notice it before. It's split. Um, Here, hold the cloth against it. Please, you do it. I can't stand the sight of blood. It upsets me. It just makes me so queasy. Um, you still have some left in the corner. I can try to help. Come closer. I'm sorry. I suppose if you can already tell that this isn't just a costume, and you weren't mistaken, you did hear me overpower those men all on my own. It was too easy. But I feel guilty that I let them get to you first. I should not have let that happen. I was unaware that the man was holding a bat until it was too late. I let the two unarmed men run away, but... I kept the other one with the bat for myself. Yes. Which is why I don't understand how I could possibly still be hungry. I was sure I took care of that urge. Satiating myself with him would buy me some time to care for you until you felt well enough. But maybe this is a different urge that I have. Maybe if you feel as though you have some strength returning, you could help me with it. No, it doesn't actually involve me feeding from you. You seem confused. <laughs> Take your time. I'm sure you can figure out which other urges a woman could have. Unless you still need to rest more, which you can. But I'm not sure how much longer you can keep me waiting. Take your time. We have all night.